Well, originally the architects, they wanted a very modern style building here, but the owners, they shot down that idea. So now it's a rather seamless transition between the old 1912 ballpark and the new 5,000 seat music venue. Singer Michelle Brooks Thompson tested out the acoustics inside Boston's new MGM Music Hall for a VIP audience of local government leaders and the owners of the new concert venue. Three, two, one, cut. Earlier, Mayor Michelle Wu and Red Sox principal owner John Henry helped cut the ribbon. Henry, whose Fenway Sports Group owns the new building, shared that sports was not his first love. I started adulthood as a professional musician. I developed other interests over time. But the musician in me standing here today could not be prouder. This project broke ground back in late 2019, just before the coronavirus pandemic shut down the entire concert industry. Without knowing when shows would resume, construction continued on the triangle-shaped parking lot beyond Fenway's outfield. It was an odd shape. It doesn't fit. It has strange angles that have to be figured out. The mayor welcomed the music hall for the revenue and the jobs it will create, including 80 full-time and 450 part-time positions. And she said the music hall will work closely with the nearby Boston Arts Academy. To unlock what is possible for generations of Bostonians to find their passions, get connected to careers, and have fun. Lawrence's own Godsmack will perform the first concert here this coming Saturday, followed soon after that by performances by James Taylor and Bruno Mars. Who knows, maybe even John Henry will sooner or later pick up his old guitar. Live in the Fenway, David Beating, WCBB News Center 5.